welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Maria. I do videos on a lot of personal development, college videos sometimes, and then also videos about budgeting yourself and building your wealth. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe and join the fam. I wanted to first start off by apologizing for not uploading yesterday because I normally try and upload every day. So the reason that I didn't upload yesterday was actually a complete misunderstanding. Basically what happened was I filmed yesterday. I was going up to move out of my apartment yesterday. And so I, you know, edited everything, like scheduled what I had already like filmed and what I had already edited and stuff, I scheduled it for yesterday at like 4 o'clock. I scheduled it and I went up to school without like anything, like my computer, nothing. So I went up to school and I, it wasn't until later in the night that I had noticed that it was actually scheduled for today at 6 o'clock. So I'm not posting that today at 6 o'clock anymore. I'm gonna do it a little bit later so this video will be the first one you see and yesterday's video is gonna be the second one you see I'm just gonna do it that way but again so sorry you guys I always try and put out new content and I'm trying to post every day if something like that ever happens again I'll be sure to post two videos in a day just like what I'm doing for today but anyway for today's video I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about an idea that I actually just randomly came up with so I've been on Indeed a lot and just like, you know, like searching around, seeing what the job market is looking at these days. And I've seen a lot of these jobs that are like sales representative, cool, I love sales, and then it says commission only. And a lot of my friends have seen these jobs as well and kind of thought, oh, maybe I should get into that with coronavirus because a lot of them are jobs that say you can work from home, they really want to work from home so they're not at risk of a pandemic, which I completely understand. Everyone's trying to stay safe at this time, so like I completely understand why someone would want to do that. I know there's a little bit of debate of whether commission-only jobs are great or whether it would be better to have a job that has a base that actually pays you before you make sales and all that fun stuff. So I decided that I'd be talking about the pros and cons of that today and then I'm going to kind of go into my personal thoughts and feelings about that. So the first pro of doing a commission-only job is the earnings that you're getting for each sales. So when you do a commission-only job, most likely you're going to be paid more for every sale that you make. And this is because of the risks that you're dealing with when you're doing a commission-only job. Like I said, if you are working for a commission-only job, most likely you're going to be enduring a lot of risks of, say, bad months, not making enough sales for your bills, and stuff like that, where a salary provides you more stability. So for most salary jobs, you're going to get a little bit of a smaller piece of the pie just because that you're already guaranteed that salary. The commission is pretty much just another incentive for you to really be working hard at making sales. But if it's your only income that you're making, then obviously there's going to be an even higher pressure for you to make those sales. Because making those sales are the only way that you're actually getting that income. So you're going to get a bigger piece of the pie because it's obviously much more of a risk. And the con that goes along with this is that you have no stability at all. This is a really, really big downside, and I think a reason why I feel that I would never be able to do this is that you're not going to be able to pay your bills if you have a bad month and this is your only stream of income. So that's just something to think about if you own a house and you have a mortgage every month, or if you're renting a place, or you just have bills with school and stuff then this is going to be the type of job that you really really just have to like save all the money you get from that good month because there may be other months where you're getting nothing. And moving on to another pro of this is going to be you're going to get way more independence when you're doing this. You're going to get more independence because you pretty much choose your own hours since you're not like on the clock for anything besides making sales. So you're choosing your hours, you're not having a boss most likely like over your shoulder giving you as many corrections and stuff. You're kind of in a way working on your own. It's kind of like building your own business in a way because that you're just like trying to influence people to buy the product and they're going to try and buy, which a lot of people say sales in general is trying to build your own business. But when you are getting a salary, it's more so... If I made the sale, it would be absolutely wonderful, but you know, if I don't make the sale, like, 
then at least I don't have to worry because I do have a salary that's backing me up if I don't make a sale. It's really important to realize that, but also you are gonna be getting so much more independence because it's kind of like you're running your own business. You're choosing the hours that work for you. You're really just like running it how you think that it would work best. By doing this, you're kind of on your own, doing your own thing rather than having a boss set goals for you and tell you what you need to do. And a con, I just have this as a personal opinion. If you don't agree, it's completely your opinion, but this is just my personal opinion. If a company isn't paying you, they're not really investing in you and like supporting you along the way of this. So that's just something to think about. During the training, some of these places don't even pay you for your training, so you have to learn what you're doing and you're taking a pay cut because you can't even like make the sales or do anything until you know what you're doing, but they're not even gonna pay you for that. So that's just something to keep in mind. It would really bother me if I was sitting through a month of training just like trying to get insight on what to do and I'm not even getting paid for my time. And obviously I'm not gonna have a good month, I'm not gonna be able to pay my bills, I'll probably have to pick up a second job because the, during the training process I'm not getting trained, there's no way I'm going out there and doing anything because I don't know how. That's just another thing to keep in mind that for your training it's really not guaranteed that you're even going to get paid. Your company is just really not investing in you. If they were, they'd be paying you a salary, you know. It's just kind of something to ask yourself, what do you feel that you're worth in a company and should they be paying you more? And then another pro is flexibility. So I personally think if you're struggling, if you're say you're a college student and you have classes like all different times of the day and you just like an hourly job you just can't do. If you're say a mom and you have to be home with your kids and you're just looking to make some extra money, I think this could absolutely be great for you. If your goal is to make some extra money, say like if the kids go to school and you go work a part-time job during that time and then you come home, you're working for that company just doing stuff from home on a laptop and getting some extra money from a company that pays commission only, I think great. That's terrific because you can still take care of your kids while being at home and doing work. I mean, I think that's wonderful if you're in the circumstance where your idea is just to be making a little bit of extra money. So if you have a schedule that's kind of just you have little tiny gaps where you're free, I think this would be a great opportunity. It's flexible enough where you would be able to like kind of pick out your own hours and what you want to do. And then another con is it could be a really unpredictable load of work, so like what I mean by this is that you don't know how many hours you're going to have to put in to make a sale. It could be 60 hours one week for you to make enough sales to support yourself. It could be 30 hours another week if in the beginning of the week you just have a really good week. So you just don't know. So there's a lot of unknowns in working for a commission only company. So I just think that's another thing to really keep in mind. And for the final part of the video, I'm just going to be kind of talking about my opinions like this because I know everyone has different opinions about this topic. My personal opinion about this topic is that you can definitely do this and I think it'd be great for, again, somebody who has a gap schedule or is a mom at home and just wants to make some extra income for family or something like that. But I personally just don't feel that this would be a good thing to do for your like standard income. I think it'd be more something that would be good to do for a part-time job if you're just looking for some extra cash. If you were to work in this commission-only place and you find that you have a lot of recurring clients and you find yourself as a part-time job being more successful in this sort of role, then I think that then, yeah, it could be okay to do this full time because you have a good client base, you know who's coming back, and you can start to kind of build yourself a stable income. I think at least at first that you should really be considering this as a part-time job and then seeing where it leads you, seeing where it goes. I think all in all, it just like really depends on your situation. On your situation, like I wouldn't do this because I would be really worried about being able to pay for things. I'm living in my first apartment in a few months, so I really do want to make sure that I have that stable income coming in, and if I did have a commission-only job, I would definitely have another job where I would know that my stable income is coming in. So I personally just like think that you should be 
considering this as something that's part-time but not taking out all of your energy because you really don't know where it's going to go at first it could lead to this amazing adventure I think that i do want to bring up as well is that if a commission only company cares for you i've seen a lot of them saying things like oh well like it's commission only you make commission but if you struggle then we pay you at least at least 1500 bi-weekly or something like that you know something to make sure okay like they're gonna help me support myself if i'm not there like especially with training and stuff too if they say yes it's commission only but when we train you we pay you like 1200 every two weeks or something like that and then when if you have a bad month and you don't make like three thousand dollars a month or something like that then we will pick you up and pay you that remainder of amount i've seen a lot of commission only jobs doing this and i think for this it's definitely okay to have it full time because then you're at least knowing okay you know if it's a really bad month they're still gonna help me so i just think that it's really important to make sure that company values you because that you need to really like show what you're worth and tell them okay i'm not gonna work for this amount because that's not what i'm worth and so again those are just a few of my opinions i know that's not how everyone feels about that but that is the best advice i can give and that really completes our video for today. If you like this video, please subscribe. It would really help out my channel. I will be posting tomorrow as well. Hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.